at the city of Valdosta. Ms. Janice Patterson, uh, would you like to present now, please, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is a request by Janice Patterson. We rezone 1.08 acres from R15 to OP. Um, such a property is located at 2417 North Oak Street. This is on the east side of the road, 150 feet north of Morto Road. That's the new extension of Morto Route Patterson. Um, as you see on the map on the screen and in your packet, um, these are the OP zoning on properties to the west across the street. Um, some of you may recall the request last year to rezone the property to the south from R15 to OP, which was a vacant lot. It was owned by the city that's at the corner of Ponte Lake um, and then a lot of other R15, R15 zones around it. Um, character area, this is a transitional neighborhood, um, sort of on the edge of that um, character area in the future development map. Um, there's a lot of detail in your packet regarding the size of the building and so forth, and also the comprehensive site plan. Um, this is purely conceptual. Um, this is just to demonstrate how it might look. Um, the applicant is looking to market the property for OP type development, actually that was the survey, here's the site plan. Um, and the site plan shows retaining the existing two-story building, which is currently a single family residence, um, but possibly converting that to office usage, and then adding a one-story office building in the rear yard. Um, the site plan shows enough parking to go with the building area shown, so it meets the minimum standards. You also see on that site plan there's a lot of extra space, so theoretically it could accommodate a bit more building and the parking to go with it. Um, and let's cover the staff report. I've given you some numbers. Um, by comparison, the property that's on the southwest corner of Oak and Horto is of similar size, albeit a uh, different shape. That property is L shaped and has similar acreage as this, and it has a couple thousand square feet more of building area, um, just for comparisons. Um, as I've written in the staff report, staff acknowledges there is some strong support or OP zoning given the zoning pattern of the area and also the future development map designation. Our staff is reluctant to ignore the single family character that still exists on North Oak Street as well as these neighborhoods. Um, you see a lot of OP, but you also see a lot of the yellow on that map, which is our 15 and our 10 um, neighborhoods. And we also discussed this briefly last year when we were looking at rezoning that OP to the south. Uh, where there was questions raised about the rest of the area becoming OP and staff had voiced some opposition to that notion then and so staff is keeping true to their work. Um, so with that, staff is finding this inconsistent with our standards for exercise of zoning power of those responses are there in your packet and we're also finding it inconsistent with the confidence plan maybe for neighborhood character and neighborhood compatibility issues of the overall surroundings. So we're recommending denial of this reason. We talked about this at length at the work session. I'd be glad to answer any additional questions you may have. Okay, thank you. Commissioner, do you want to have any questions in regards to this case? I think they have. Um, it was staff's recommendation that they wanted to change it to something other than single family zoning, that OP would be more palatable. It would match the OP zoning that is nearby. It would also preclude the possibility of multifamily. That is the main difference between OP and RP. OP does not allow multifamily, RP does. Um, but that, so they've requested OP instead of RP. Now, being that OP is more intensive than RP, you could recommend RP instead. That is one of the options. You, you said multifamily is not permissible with OP? Correct. It is not permissible in OP. It allows a little more variety of offices, even up as far as a bank. RP does not allow that, but it does allow multifamily. RP and OP overlap by about 95%. Any other questions for the commissioners? I have a question just out of curiosity. I have reading in here about the unwanted encroachments. Are you referring to, was the staff referring to the those buildings west of Oak Street? Those right, and she looked at the, the OP parcels that are there. Um, that represents four different zoning cases over the 
past 25 years. The first one was the northwest corner of Oak and Borto. That was in 1991. And then after that, a few, or actually many years after that, about 10 years, the property to the north, that was Mr. Bennett's property, um, was rezoned to OP. The use of the property was from single family residence and then became a home occupation attorney's office. It hasn't really changed from that, it hasn't been redeveloped. Um, let me back up, there's actually one in between. The first was the northwest corner for the original Boston Family Medicine. A few years later, the house to the north, which is that next parcel that's sort of in the middle of those three, that was a rezoning to OP to allow the two-story medical office in Mr. Bennett's property. And then in January of 2010 was the southwest corner of Oak and Gorto, again for a doctor's office, there's now two buildings. And then last year, um, the properties on the other side of the intersection, uh, where the city had recently put through Gorto Road, and then the city had purchased the property on the northeast corner, and then rezoned it to OP for marketing purposes. Um, staff's thinking at the time was with Gorto Road being built to a very different standard than Oak Street or even the rest of Gorto, that, that segment of Gorto had completely lost it or did not have any residential character to it. And so OP seemed logical there. Um, I wish this zoning map that's on the screen had zoomed out just a little bit more. You can see a little more of the neighborhoods that are around this area. But again, when I refer to encroachment into neighborhoods, it's, it's the OP zoning cases over the past 25 years. Any other questions, gentlemen, please? Okay, I would like to uh, ask anyone that's in favor of this request to please come forward at this time.
anyone else would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone like to speak against this request? Again, anyone like to speak against this request? Okay, being done, I'm going to turn it over to the commissioners. You don't have any conversation with any comments?